Hey and welcome to the post up curl of the garage. Right now we have planned to do another overnighter, but this time we try to spend our night in a shelter which is made out of pure snow. If you try to spend your night in a shelter like this, you have to be sure that you have the three most important things. Number one is a source of heat. Number two, a source of light. And number three is some kind of device where you can cook your food on or melt some snow or do anything like this. So for that task we will build some kind of stove. And our first priority will be the selection of fuel for the stove. So gasoline is a pretty good option, but the byproducts which are caused by the burning of the gasoline will be not really good for your health. Wood will also be appropriate, but uh, you have to fuel your fire and lay even more wood on it and so this is not a good option either. The best option when it comes to fuel will be alcohol, because when alcohol burns the only byproduct it produces is water and it's carbon dioxide. The problem with your traditional alcohol stove like this one which is made out of two beer cans is that it's not very fuel efficient, it produces a lot of smoke and it will not burn for a great amount of time. We have a little bit of this copper pipe left from one of our last projects where we used it to make pins for a knife handle and I've also got my hands on this kind of jam jar. It's a gas jar with a metal lid on it and yeah, let's try to build something out of it. When you're trying to bend some kind of pipe like this, you have to always be sure to fill it with some kind of medium so it will not collapse on itself. When it's full of sand, you have to be sure that it's closed up pretty good. For that reason we just hammer it down. To get rid of all the remaining sand in the pipe, you have to rinse it with some water. The next step we're trying to do is to make some wicks out of some old fabric. So the idea of this project is that these little wicks are sucking up the liquid fuel to the upper part of the winding and it will burn the fumes on the lower part. So the fumes on the lower part will heat up the upper part and this will vaporize the fuel to keep it running. What you want to do now is seal off the pipe in the lid of the jam jar and for this I'll take some kind of putty. I've bought this to fill up the cracks in my forge and I think it will perfectly suitable for this task. So you can choose whatever sealant you prefer but you have to be aware of a sealant which is 100% fireproof and heat resistant.
So now we have to let it dry out and we will come back in a couple of hours. will work in a real life situation. Stay tuned for our next overnight. And if you haven't noticed it already, our channel reached 10,000 subscribers last week. So, thank you to all 10,000 of you. And it's really great to get this channel started so quick. So for our next episode, I want you to put whatever question you had down in the comment section below and I will promise you to answer every one of your questions that you will have on our channel. That was it for today. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers and we'll see us next time on the Post of Garage. Have a nice evening and goodbye.